Good morning, afternoon, or evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Puzzle Academy. I'm Professor Buster, and in this introductory lesson, we'll be covering the very basics for how to play the game of Panel de Pon. Throughout this series, I'll be using footage from the game Panel Attack. This is a fan-made clone of the game that runs on most computers and mimics the original SNES game's mechanics extremely accurately. It also allows for online play, has a ranking ladder, allows for custom characters, and much more. Follow the links in the description to find the game, and consider joining us on Discord for daily matchmaking, monthly tournaments, and more. Of course, feel free to practice along using the original Panel de Pon on Nintendo Switch Online as well. The lessons in this series will be equally applicable for both versions. Panel de Pon is an action puzzle game. You play within a well that is 12 blocks tall by 6 blocks wide. You play by moving a cursor freely around the field, swapping blocks to move them around. Matching three or more blocks of the same color will cause them to pop, with any blocks above them falling down. This works both vertically and horizontally. Other configurations, such as diagonals, do not count. Combos and chains are the bread and butter of panel. These are your main ways to score big or send attacks to your opponents in PvP. A combo is any match that consists of more than three blocks. There are no other rules beyond that, so you're free to create these in whatever configurations you can. Larger combos are worth more points and will send larger garbage blocks, but shouldn't be relied upon, as combos aren't that much more effective than regular matches. The best way to rack up points and garbage quickly is by creating chains. To do a chain, first create a regular match. If the blocks above it then fall down into another match, you've created a chain. And true to the name, chains can be extended with more links. So if you have more blocks on top of your first chain link, they can fall and create a third chain link, and then a fourth, and then a fifth, and so on and so forth for as long as you can make it happen. And the bigger the chain, the more points you earn and the larger the attack. By the way, when talking about chains and combos, you will oftentimes see players typing them out in a specific way. For combos, we use the plus sign, and for chains, we use a time symbol. For example, a plus four means a combo with four blocks in it, and a times three means a chain with three links, or a three chain. That's it for the basics. Next time, we'll explore our movement options in a bit more detail. But for now, here's your homework for today's lesson. In Endless Mode, create one 4 combo and one 2 chain. Play at level 1. Once you've completed your homework, move on to the next video in the series. Or don't, I mean, it's not like I'm going to make you turn it in or anything. By the way, shoutouts to Solitaire for making the logo for this series. What was that? Uh, I'm sure it was nothing, never mind.